How's it going? Uh, today we're going to talk about solving equations, okay? Like solve for x, solve for z, solve for a, solve for a variable. Okay, we'll start off slow and pick it up. So if you know the basics, you're more than welcome to skip to the part that you don't know. So, lovely. Let's get going, okay? Now, your goal here is to get x by itself. So you try to get all the other numbers on the other side of the equal sign. Okay, and to do that, you do the opposite of whatever is happening between those numbers. All right, the opposite of addition is subtraction. The opposite of multiplication is division. So, whenever you want to get something positive over there, you subtract it, or get something that's added, you subtract it. Whenever you want to do is divide, you multiply. Same and lovely. All right, now, that's a positive two. So to get rid of it, we have to subtract, because the opposite of plus is minus, okay? And if it's positive, the opposite would be a negative. So we just subtract that same number from that, okay, to get it over there. Okay, we subtract the same number from both sides. We're not changing our problem. We're just moving it, okay? So two minus two is zero. It's nothing, so we can mark it out, all right? Nine minus two is seven. Bring everything else down x equals 7. So, here's the wonderful thing about these. You can always check your answers. Okay, our original problem was 2 plus x equals 9. To check it, we just plug in what we said x was. Okay, if we're saying x is equal to this, it's the same thing. Okay, so we can plug them in and change them. Okay, so we just take out that. Put in 7. 2 plus 7 is 9. Does 9 equal 9? Why, yes it does. So, good deal. Move on. Alright, let's do one a little bit more complicated. Okay. We're still remembering the opposites. We want to go negative and do positive, positive, negative, blah, 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 blah. We have more than one thing on the side of the x, okay? We've got more than one number, so we're going to have to get rid of them one at a time. The way I always like to remember, to get rid of, what you get rid of first is whatever is farthest away from the x, okay? On the same side of the equal sign. All right, let's cover up this side of the equal sign. What's farthest away from x? Well, obviously, that 2 is because that 3 is pretty much holding hands with it. So, if this is farther away, we get rid of it first. All right? Now, what do we do with the opposite of a minus? Add. So we add 2. Our goal is to do the opposite so that way they equal 0, so that it's gone from that side. Okay? You don't have to know the specifics. You just know to get rid of it, you do the opposite. So, subtracting 2, adding 2, that equals 0, so that cancels out. 25 plus 2 is 27. Bring that back down. It's nice if you go straight down, that way you keep everything in order. Okay? If I'm going too fast, hit pause, slow down, whatever. Okay? Now, whenever a number is right next to it like that, that means multiply. Okay? That means that you're multiplying 3 times this x. Okay? The opposite of timesing something is dividing. So, we divide by 3. Okay? 3 divided by 3 is 1. Okay? So, that's like 1 times x would be the same as x. That cancels out. Just divide 27 by 3, which would be nine. x equals 9. If we want to check, we can plug it back in. 3 times 9 minus 2 equals 25. 3 times 9 is 27. 27 minus 2 is 25. 25 equals 25. Wonderful. This is our goal is to get all the stuff with x's on one side, all the regular numbers on the other side, okay? The way I like to do it, because I like to keep things positive, take the smaller number that's with the x and put it over here. That way you're subtracting it and you know it's still gonna be a positive number, okay? Doesn't matter whatever way works for you. So, I gotta get two x over here. All right, to do that, I'm moving the whole thing. So I'm not dividing by two, okay? That's a positive two x, so the opposite would be Negative, so we have to subtract 2x from both sides. Okay, and it only applies, since we're adding and subtracting, it only applies to one part of it. Mark that out, 2x, or 4x minus 2x is 2x. Bring everything else down, we're keeping it in order. What's the opposite of adding 9 would be subtracting 9. This cancels out, being negative 15. That's 2 times x, right? Opposite of 2 times x, 
So we want to get rid of the two. Opposite of timesing something is dividing. Okay, so divide by two. That cancels out. X equals negative 7.5. And we can always plug it back into our original equation to see if it works. Okay? Good deal. All right? Looks big and complicated. Take it one step at a time. All right? First of all, we got a negative 5, five not 5, in front of our parentheses. Okay? So we rhymes with distribute. Distribute. So we distribute it in there to both of those. Bring everything down. Negative 5 times x is negative 5x. Negative 5 times positive 1, negative 5 equals 3x plus 1. Now, once again, we're going to get all our x's on one side, all our numbers on the other side, okay? First, we can simplify stuff on the same side of the equal sign. Let's cover up this. Anything that goes together? Why, well, yes, there is. 2x and 5x. 2x minus 5x is negative 3x. All you do is you do 2 minus 5, which would be negative 3. Keep it in front of the x. Bring down the negative 5, and then bring down everything else, because there's nothing over here that can mix together. It's like playing a PlayStation game on an Xbox. They don't mix together, okay? Now, we still got to get all our x's on one side and all our other ones on the other side, all our numbers on the other side. So, let's put all these x's over here. Because opposite of minusing 3x would be adding 3x. That cancels out because it would be 0. Negative 5 equals 6x plus 1. Get our numbers on the other side. It's a positive 1, so the opposite would be subtracting 1. Okay, that cancels. And then that would be negative 6 equals 6x. Last step, got to get rid of that 6. It's 6 times x. The opposite would be divide by 6. That cancels out. It'd be negative 1 equals x. The end. Um, oh, okay. Last one. This is an easy one. It just confuses people because I know you guys are scared of fractions. Like little kids are scared of clowns, okay? Okay? All you do is, this is not, not that complicated. Take it one step at a time, just like we did. Remember, when you're getting rid of stuff, whatever is closest to the x, move it last. So we're moving what's farthest away. 2 and x, they're playing Red Rover, holding hands like that. So we've got to get rid of the negative 3 first, okay? It's being divided by negative 3, so the opposite of divide is multiply. So we multiply by negative 3 on both sides. Okay, and that, means, that little dot means multiply. So we do the opposite. Opposite of divide is multiply. 4 times negative 3, negative 12. Bring down the 2x. Get x by itself. Divide by 2. x equals negative 6. Want to check it? We'll plug it in. That's the end. Have a good day.